Customizing your map design in Felt is incredibly easy and straightforward. And in today's video, I wanna specifically show you how you can really make your elements pop off screen by changing the background imagery. So when you first open a new map project in Felt, you're gonna get this default map background. You can change this via the background button up here in the top right, you'll see you have two main options. You have this default and you also have satellite. Now, as I switch over to satellite, you'll notice this is a much darker background and all of the labels and the UI elements automatically switch so they will contrast nicely against this background. So if you pay attention, I'll switch back to default. Look at the New York label, for example. This is black text with a white stroke. If I go back and I switch to satellite, now it is white text with a black stroke. So felt is automatically changing the stroke with the fill to make sure that it contrasts and that it is legible against this background. You'll also notice the toolbar, the main UI elements automatically swap as well so that they contrast nicely as well. So here we have this lighter UI and then here we have the darker UI elements. Super cool. Okay, I've switched over to a proper map with a real visualization. We have a couple of data layers here showing the inundation zone in New York City after Hurricane Sandy hit in 2012. And we're also looking at the hurricane evacuation zones for this particular region. Now, this map is actually available in our map gallery. I'll leave a link down in the video description. You can duplicate it and then you can follow along with this tutorial if you would like. If I zoom in, we're using the default background here. And the problem with this is the fact that it's showing us these parks in Manhattan that are green. This green color is very similar to one of the color palettes we're using in the evacuation zones. So let's say I wanna get rid of that. I wanna have a monochromatic minimal background. Well, I can actually do that up here in the background settings. I'll click right here and you'll see under default, we have both a light and a dark theme. So if I switch to light, that does it, that takes care of those colors. It gives us a nice, clean, monochromatic background look. And I can jump back in here and switch to dark and see how that looks. Ooh, that's very nice, but I'd have to change some of these other layers to make it look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and stay with white. Let's say I also wanna clear out some of this clutter of the labels, uh, and I wanna add my own labels later. So I can go ahead and turn off labels and now this is nice and clean. One other really cool aspect of these backgrounds is something called sandwiching. And let me show you how this works. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna grab the hurricane evacuation zone layer and I'm just gonna show only this. So now we can see this. So we're only looking at this data layer and our background, but you'll notice that the roads are showing on top of this particular data layer. So how is that happening? That is something called sandwiching. If I click on here, there under the polygon section here, there's a position attribute. And right now it says below water and roads. So if I change this to above water and roads, you'll notice that this is what this data set actually looks like. So felt is allowing us to sandwich this in between putting it underneath the water and the roads to give us a drastically different, much, much better and cleaner look. So easy, so fun, I love felt. As you can see, felt has a bunch of different options for changing your background. If, however, you wanna bring up the level another notch, you can actually connect custom backgrounds via URL. So I'm gonna head over to Felt's website here. This is actually an article in their help center. I'll link to this in the video description as well. And this tells you not only where to find custom map backgrounds, but also how to connect them from each specific platform. So Felt supports custom map backgrounds via any web-based map service that supports the popular XYZ map tile format. So think of OpenStreetMap, MapTiler, Mapbox Studio, ArcGIS servers. Now I'm gonna show you real quick how to do this. I went ahead and copied the open street map URL. And now I'll come over here to background, click on this button and do add from URL. And then I'll just paste that URL right in here. It gives us a quick preview. I can change the title. And then under additional settings, I can make some additional tweaks such as uh, customizing the attribution text. I can specify the minimum and maximum zoom levels of this map. And I can even change the color of those UI elements to make sure that they are legible. Now I'll add this background. And now you can see as I zoom out, that is indeed open street map. This is so cool. So if you have this connected to something like Mapbox Studio, where you can customize your base map over there and connect it to your felt map, 
you're ready to rock and roll. Same with Map Tyler. Now, if you wanna go super minimal for whatever reason, you can even switch this to solid color. So I'm gonna switch this over to solid color. You can pick whatever color you want, and there you go, super, super helpful. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this quick view of the background options and felt. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you wanna see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and activate notifications. And as always, I urge you to go over, check out this map in the map gallery, duplicate it so you can jump in and play around with it. I guarantee you're gonna have some fun.